I just want to ask you this question because I've seen a lot of people debate this. Mm-hmm. Do you gen? Do you like legitimately think he can become like the greatest player of all time or like top ten, top five NBA player ever? I feel like we've reached the age where it's like tough to be like, are we gonna see someone surpass that? But <laughs> right. at the same time, I feel like that's how we felt in football. Like watching Brady, it's like mm-hmm. we're watching the greatest quarterback ever. And here comes Pat Mahomes, and it's like right, right there. <laughs> So you know what? I I don't know. That's just such an especially like he hasn't even played a, a single game yet. Uh, <laughs> so I don't I don't know if he can if he can become the greatest player of all time. What I can say is he has the opportunity to change the way that the NBA looks. Mm-hmm. Like if he can stay relatively injury free, like not perfect, but like relatively healthy, has a decently long career. That offense translates, doesn't even have to be 100%, just a little bit with the elite defense. Like we're going to look probably 15 plus years from now, and all of a sudden we're going to be watching AU highlights of seven two dudes that play just like him. It's like That's seven scary. foot, seven <laughs> foot three point guards gonna start popping up across the world. Like, good luck making it to the NBA. You're being a six three guard now, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, it, so he has the opportunity, like, to really be something. He already is something that we've never seen before. But on an NBA stage, like, be a seven foot four, seven five guy, whatever his official height is, um, that can handle the ball, can stretch the floor, can finish, can rebound, can like can do really anything you ask of him on the the basketball court. So with that, I don't know if he can necessarily become the greatest. Like I feel like it's just we're way too early to even. That's why I said to, top five. To yeah, greatest that. is tough. Greatest is yeah. hard. that's hard. That's a different level of conversation. But I, I do think he has the opportunity to really like all the unicorn hype that we've had for the last like decade or so with guys like Porzingis and Bull Bull or whatever, like year in, year out, they find the one skilled big man that can do all this extra stuff. He mm-hmm. can really be the one, not to no, not shade on Porzingis because I think he's obviously a great player, but like he, I think, can really be the one that like becomes the unicorn, you know? But I just think with his, with his, um, with his skill set, basically, and his system, and like mm-hmm. the team that he got drafted to, the organization that he got drafted to, the coach that he's gonna have, barring injury, and also the defensive impact that he's gonna have throughout his whole career, even if his offensive game takes a little bit of of time to develop, his defensive impact is gonna be insane off the rip and pretty much throughout his whole career. So, right. I definitely think that could be his ceiling. Yeah, and when you even get to that high on on these all time lists, like. A lot of that does factor in team success, like you said as well. Exactly. You listen, guys like Kobe, Shaq, Tim Duncan, like you just listed all 14 rings between the three of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of that is going to come down to if he stays in San Antonio for an extended period of time, like who's his coach going to be because it's not going to be pop forever. Um, you know, are they able to consistently put players around him to succeed? And like we're looking like eight plus years down the line, like how right. many rings does he get? Is he able to? You know, consistent all-star MVP. He's not to be MVP caliber type player. So, like, um, a lot of that will come down to factors that are outside of his control. Mm -hmm. Um, But if everything goes right, like, it's just, it's so crazy to think, like, he really is going to be doing stuff that's, like, he has no business doing at that height. Like, Mm -hmm. I almost want to be like, could you imagine if you dropped him in, like, a, NBA game for like 1960. Just like it wouldn't like like bro what? <laughs> like I can't even <laughs> begin to fathom like what he would do out there and how people would look at him. Like they would genuinely like 100% think he's an alien. Like 100% think he's alien. not human. Like seriously, like they probably would like arrest him on spot and take him to like some <laughs> government facility or something. <laughs> Did you see that clip of the the commentators going crazy when Michael Jordan did the behind the back? 
Bro, that jump, I'm like, bro, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. I, I, I get it, you know. The game has changed. The game has really changed. But it's just so funny to look back at that and see dude just did a behind the back and just, like, got it again with his right hand. Like, instead of doing behind the back to the left. Like, that's so simple. Like, and the fact that, like, they're like, oh, my God. What did Michael just do? Like, like, he just bro- <laughs> yeah, like, he just broke the game or something. That's funny to see, man. Yeah. His, his ceiling is definitely the highest out of this entire draft class and probably the highest we've seen since a LeBron prospect. Like, yeah. in terms of potential to for real be one of the greats. And again, at worst, He's at least going to be, I think he'll be the unicorn, like the face of like unicorn mm-hmm. 